Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Thank you for coming today and hanging out with your boys. It's a beautiful morning here on the Ark. Uh, we're here on the Herb Island server, and like I said, uh, what was it, Friday? Saturday morning when I had that little one minute long update video. Um, I had some stuff going on, and I've been busy. Boy, I've been busy, let me tell you. So, uh, I was, you've seen I was just on this cantilever platform, and over the duration of Saturday and the rest of Sunday, I worked on this place uh, as often as I could, and that was the majority of my free time, which was not a lot, unfortunately, because of work and, and such. But, uh, as you can see, I went ahead and I tamed up a level 134 Anki, and get up here a level 204 dodicarus so that's been fantastic i still got luna a wolf that was originally john's that he had give, given to me um that's the eclipse the argentavis that we got from the herp the egg that we had raised and then of course the argentavis that i had tamed myself um so this is what i got going on here i guess i could get on the bird and check it out a little bit just from the air see what it looks like so this is where we are on the map right down there we'll see what uh coordinates say it comes out at 88 at 56 so that's the area right in the south on the center of the map right in the south um I, originally i really want to live right up here on this rock and the reason i chose this area even though there's a home up here is if you look let's change our, our camera view it says uh bomb bears perfumes everything free we are leaving the server take anything by and and then this just signs it's just hanging out here um, but the thing is so I was like oh I'm so excited these structures will decay and um, I can just live right here but for whatever reason I don't know if somebody keeps getting onto the server or if that's what uh, what happens when somebody opens up see everything inside woo is empty but I don't know if every time somebody opens one of these th like chess or smithy whatever does the timer reset what's going on with that um but it it's, uh, keeps resetting it was down to like two days and now it's back up to six unfortunately so i'm going to play the waiting game for the time being um so my vision i love this area right here it's got these rocks surrounding this deep little pool uh what we're going to try out today is i'm going to build a raft and see if you can fit in between this little canal here and also what we're going to try to do is get our first water dino and see if we can't get it down into our little pool here. Um, the vision I have for this place, I mean, the cantilever, cantilever platforms are kind of big, and it, they may not necessarily all be on cantilever platforms, but what I envision is like a steampunk, even though that building is not very steampunky yet. Uh, it's just something to get me inside and out of the elements and a place to keep my things safe. Um, is kind of like a cliffside steampunk town type situation so uh, this may not necessarily always be our home but this may be a small barn or a workshop area then we may have one like right here that would be for crops it would be our little farming one then we may have one up here for like a big industrial forge or an industrial area or something on like the big rock here maybe our main house will eventually be up here if we can ever get rid of this structure so that's that's my hopes goals and dreams for the area over here and it's pretty nice i'm pretty excited as you can see i uh worked this was there was nothing here just the platform we're gonna have to get this bird out the way okay we're gonna have to hang yeah just like that because it's gonna eject this to the right and i don't want to go flying off i'll be screwed if that happens uh it was just a platform so uh up until what yesterday i got the yankee and the dodicarus so i was by hand getting all the stone and wood and thatch it was in fiber it was it was chaos but uh this is what i had come up with so in my room at the old base uh, i just so everybody knows um the tribe i was in before john and waffle we're still on good terms i just wanted to break free and do my own um kind of solo thing for a while nothing against those guys or anything um just something i wanted to do for myself um so in the room that i had over there i had the rug and and the armor stand and all that stuff and we set it up in here we put our little dodo rug up on the wall there and then we put our uh, little um what's it called um like a gun mount 
I'd bought an Eerie pistol just for the fact that it's uh, infinite ammo, and it's it's a good little pistol. I mean, it comes to in a pinch, I guess, if it has to. But uh, I did have this torch out just so you could see. Come on, would you? There we go. The changing colors. It's pretty cool, I think. Um, so I ended up making a fabricator here, and you can see just the basics. Uh, the um, smithy and and some storage and stuff over here. We got our little. Um, preserving bin here eventually I'll do some refrigerators and stuff soon I hope to start getting into the more electrical stuff we'll put a Jenny out back or something and then top side I didn't really have much rooms for a ramp or stairs not at this point in time uh, we got our bookshelf where we have some of the blueprints that we have and recipes and such and then over here um, this way this little chest was hard to place down it would not did not want to place but this is where I keep more of like the rare items or some of the skins and stuff like that and then our just our bed I just have a simple bed right up here and I think it turned out pretty good it's not too bad if you ask me oh uh, round back excuse me I left the door unlocked so if anybody on the server wants to come by you can just pop in check out the joint see what's happening everything else is locked except for my campfire so if you need to cook food hit it up you know what I'm saying <laughs> I made a little cage and put our little dung beetle out here and he should be making this up some fertilizer and some oil uh, let's see get in there would you yeah fantastic do your thing boo alright so um, also in the near future I need to figure out where I'm gonna store some dinos probably gonna build a pen somewhere down below on the ground cuz some dinos uh, are gonna be too big to get up here and I don't really want a bunch of big dinos up here so we'll figure that out as well so what I'm gonna do right now uh, let's pop in here I need to make a raft because first things first I want to see if they fit uh, what do I need for the raft okay we need 250 wood 125 fiber and 75 hide so let's just take all of this and all of this and all of this that'll do craft that up really quick and then we can just throw the rest of this stuff back in and just transfer all I need to get some food really soon okay and oh yeah megalodon so let's see we should have I'm gonna take a crossbow just in case I have to go into the water I have four toxic arrows left uh, that I had previously and we'll just take some of these and we back a little man came in to say something to me so I'm back and I'm also gonna take our journeyman long rifle and our tranquilizer darts just in case I can drink a shark from the beach here that would be our best interest I'll take the scuba gear just in case as well and we'll see what we can do from there I'm gonna take a sword so maybe we can get some fish meat so we can kill off a more low level so we'll see what happens uh, let me figure out what's going to happen. Let me get down below with this raft. Somebody's here, so I'm going to see what's happening with that. And I'll bring you guys back in just a second. We back! So we're, we made it down to the bottom here. Here's that little pool. Look, this is a nice little pool here. I mean, it's it's pretty deep. You could have several water dinos that you wanted down in here. And I think it's a pretty nice little setup. It'd be cool if there's a shark already in here. I, I'm curious to see if a boat's going to travel through this little channel way. And also, the reason I wanted to tame a megalodon up is to see if one could swim through there if I wanted to get some water dinos in here. So let's find out what's going on here. Let's pop this raft right into the ocean. Uh, we are not going to name it just yet. So let's just uh, just see what happens. It may fit, it may not. Can I turn, would you? I'm up in the rocks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, turn. There we go, maybe. Come on, baby. Fit through. Yeah, it's gonna be just fine. Nice, nice. Okay, so our RG's over there on the shore. We'll just leave it there for now. Um, let's just jump into the water right here and see what we have as far as aquatic life. Uh huh. You, do you give fish meat? I doubt it. I'm pretty sure you give like chitin or something though, right? Yeah, you did. Okay. Chitin, raw meat, and oil. Uh, do you need, do you specifically need fish meat for Megalodon or can you use regular meat? I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cruise around the shore here just a little bit. Try to find a decent level Megalodon and try to get it knocked out. So I'll see you guys in just a second. 
we back so you know how every time you go into the water and there are megalodon everywhere sharks all around you yeah and you also know how anytime you're looking for something you can never find it I literally swam all around our little island down there and all the way up the coast towards where I'm at now herbivore island not one single megalodon so what I did is flew on over here um, this place never seems to fail me so hopefully we'll find a megalodon right off the shore here somewhere What's up with the uh, with the grass there, huh? Ten million turtles in the water. No megalodon. See, I don't see another megalodon. Let's go ahead and put our flippers and our uh, breathing mask on so we can just look around here just a little bit. Hmm. I'm beginning to think that there's a glitch, some type of bug situation going on. Because we know oceans are kind of uh, kind of broken right now. But, I mean, dang, I have never been in the ocean and not seen a megalodon. That's insane. Look at this. If I had the means to make saddle for other things, we would search for that. But, I figured megalodon would be nice, quick, and easy. A nice little dino, water dino for our new little hole, water hole there at our base. But, it is not looking good today. Wow. Whoa! Did you see me? Oh. You big. What are you? Mosasaur, huh? Yikes. Don't want no part of that thing. Um, anybody see Megadons? What are you, anglerfish? Man, you are huge. That thing had to just spawn. Oh, well, maybe not. We just weren't in render. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, swim a little bit closer to shore here, just where we can see out in the open. Because usually this is where you see the Megalodon out through this area, right? Or am I just crazy? This is awful. I don't know what's wrong. I do apologize. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Um. Well. Okay. Okay, I do very much apologize. I did not realize the oceans were broken to that extent. I couldn't find one Megadon. I swam completely around Herbivore Island. Oh, well, let's just say all the way from where our base is, all the way to Herbivore Island and around Herbivore Island. I've, it, I've never been to Herbivore Island and there not be a ton. Can I pick up the Silica Pearl, please? Triceratops, thank you on this beach. This is my beach. Actually, this is the Herb's beach, but... I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming to hang out today. I just, at least, I wanted to show you some of the progress and what was going on on the uh, server, what I had planned, and that I had moved and such. And building a new location and my plans for that. Um, in the future, once I get a little bit more established, I'm going to start doing the caves. Um, me and the herp was talking, or the herp and I, getting prepared for these uh, dungeons coming up in the near future. But. Yeah, I definitely got to get uh, all settled in, all tucked away and such. So, uh, I definitely need to put in a lot more work with that. We got to get some electri electrical items going. Um, I need a generator. I need some lights. I need some refrigerators. All the good stuff. So, that'll be coming here in the near future as well. I need to team up a beaver for some wood. And I seen one not too far from the uh, new cantilever platform where we're living. So I'll try to get that here uh, shortly as well. But thank you guys for coming to hang out today. I do apologize for the ocean being completely broken. And I'll try to get us some water dinos in the near future. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell icon so every time I upload, you can come hang out with your boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye-bye. Perfect.